Fourteen dog adventures Run, boy, run Everything you need is here Under the sun Everything you need is here Welcome to the Sporting Dog Adventures channel. Please like our video and subscribe so you catch our three new videos weekly. The Mississippi River Delta, home to New Orleans. Home to the winter habitat for many of our migratory ducks and geese. Home to some of the most vital fisheries that feed our country. This week on Sporting Dog Adventures, my boys and I learn about the conservation issue of our generation. I hope the show depicts how tragic it is that this ecosystem is slowly washing away. Our trip takes us out with the people of Vanishing Paradise, where we learn how we can stop the destruction of the Mississippi River Delta. The first part of the show is a conversation that my son Clayton has with Land Tony of Vanishing Paradise. Land talks to Clayton about what is causing the destructive erosion that is affecting the Delta. We're down here in coastal Louisiana, Sportsman's Paradise, but the problem with this great, great resource is it's vanishing, right? Every single day, uh, over 24 football fields are lost um, every single day down here to coastal erosion um, and, it's, and it's going away. So the stuff that you're going to experience here in uh, the next couple days, if you ever have the fortunate opportunity to have kids, your kids aren't going to be able to experience the same thing because it's all disappearing. With the marsh, um, why are they like all disappearing? Good question. So the reason it's disappearing is really because of these levees, right, that are along the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River used to act like a garden hose. You ever held onto a garden hose and turned it on and it kind of sprays everywhere, right? That's the way this delta was formed over millions and millions of years. But what happened is to protect people and to, um, and to halt flooding, they put up levees, which is a really good thing. But what that did is it cut off this fresh water from the Mississippi and the sediment that comes down during high water that actually is the lifeblood of this marsh. Basically what they need to do is they need to reconnect the river with these wetlands. So what you're going to see uh, tomorrow, you're going to see places where you have healthy marsh, and that's on the east side of the river. And the east side of the river, there isn't, there isn't a levee right there. So all that water from the Mississippi is actually getting out there in the marsh. And on the west side, uh, there's actually a levee. So all that marsh is dying because it's not getting any fresh water or sediment. The morning of our first hunt, we got up early. We headed out on the mighty Mississippi and went to an area of the delta that was still a healthy, vibrant wetland and full of teal. Alligator. Alligator. An alligator. I bailed you out on that one. <laughs> yeah, you did. I missed the bag. We flew on this hunt, so I left my dogs at home. We got to hunt over a young, black Labrador retriever named Deke. This was tough terrain for the dogs. They had heavy mud, thick weed growth, and really had a tough time when they went out on their retrieves for the birds. You didn't shoot? Yeah, they're kind of on your left, right side. I got that one. <laughs> that one I smoked. <laughs> hey, we're back here we're with Captain Joe from Cajun Fishing Adventures. How you doing, man? Good, taking thanks for getting us out. Very well. We've got your dog here. What do we got? This is Deke. He's uh he's 20 months old. Uh, this is his second season. Um, typical male, full of energy, you know. How many birds are you gonna retrieve in a season? Uh, last year, he ended the season at 15 months with 451 birds. Man, that's a lot of birds. Yeah. Our, our dogs, are, they work hard all year long. He's, uh, he's doing a good job for us. Now, what kind of terrain do you guys hunt here? We've, I know here we've got some grass and, and a lot of mud. What's the different types of stuff we're going to hunt? As you can see, we have a lot of feed. Uh, we uh, have a lot of influence from the Mississippi River on, this, on the east bank. Uh, we have no levees on this side, so we have a lot of vegetation growing. Uh, you saw coming in this morning, and it's like a jungle on this side. It's a very fertile area. How many days a year is old Deke going to hunt for for you this season? Um, probably close to 60 days. Well, we have a 60-day big duck season and a 16-day teal. He'll hunt every day doing teal, and other than the holiday, you know, three days of the holidays that I, I take off, he hunts. Yes, last year he hunted 57 days out of big duck. Can't buy the experience you're getting for him with that many retrieves as a young dog. 
you know, and, and you know, we have seven labs that hunt like that every day. One thing I noticed though, they're all black. We got to get a little color in the in the Cajun Cajun fishing uh, stable here. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we're a little partial to the dark dogs. <laughs> Horizon was filling with birds. Deke was amped up. Stay tuned for more high flying adventures Cajun style after this break. <laughs>